You are Alpha and Omega. We welcome you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Y'all know that? You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Can you just lift your hand and just talk to the Lord tonight? You are Alpha and Omega. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, you are worthy. Come on, it's worship time. It's worship time. Oh, you are Alpha and Omega. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. We worship you, are Lord. You where the worshipers in the house. Come on, let's talk to them. We give you all the glory. We worship you all. You magnify your name we thank you for this awesome opportunity to stand before your people and to proclaim this great gospel and father I thank you I thank you for what you're going to do and how you're going to move and 
You're meeting every need that is in this house right now. You're touching us right where we are. And God, I believe you that even by one o'clock tomorrow, as you spoke in the house today, one o'clock decisions are going to be made. At one o'clock, there's going to be bodies that are going to be healed. At one o'clock, there are jobs that are going to be taken. At one o'clock, there's positions that will be filled. At one o'clock, raises will take place. At one o'clock, money will be transferred into their account. At one o'clock, the appointment is going to end up in joy. At one o'clock, the connection that we have, God, you would have a resolve to it. And we thank you for it. We praise you, we magnify your name, God, because of who you are. You're the God of every situation, the God of everything. The main thing that we're talking about tonight, God, we're bringing you our request. Our request, God, our requests. Open your mouth and say, God, you see my requests. And Father, every request that we give to you tonight, I pray that you would honor it, that you would meet every need. And God, let them see and know within the next three days that an answer will be made in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it now. Father, I thank you for this ministry. I thank you for Bishop. I thank you for First Lady. Thank you for Mama Porter. Thank you for every person that is here in this ministry that you would touch and bless. Give them their heart's desires and bless them even for coming back tonight. Do something extraordinary tonight that would catapult their ministries to another level. And we thank you for what you're going to do. Move by your power, move by your spirit, and we'll thank you. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer and all the people of the Lord, open up your mouth, clap your hands, give God a praise as to some of the things that he's going to do right now. I want you to just slip down your row and tell the people on your row, say, you came tonight to give your requests. And tell them, say, guess what? If you don't do it at 1 o'clock, you got another chance. Tell them three days from now, you're going to see a miracle. Just slap you right in the face. If that's you, I need you to praise God before it even happens. Praise God like you know that you know that you know that God is really up to something. I see some of y'all just standing there looking at me, but if you're really looking for something to happen in your life, in your house, on your job, I need you to open your mouth and say, God, I'm looking for a miracle. And I believe it, I believe it, I believe it, I believe it. It's going to happen. Look where he brought me from yeah look where he brought me said he brought me out of dust where at i wish i could get some backup singers if i could get some backup singers to help me out i'll be all right
my sopranos, I need y'all to say this. that he did bring me. If I'm talking to you tonight, I need you to open up your mouth and let God see you in his house. Come on, if you're glad to be in the land of the living. Hallelujah. God bless you. I don't know if they got that CD ready, but I was just going to do a little treat. But, um, but, um, come on, put them hands together.
the devil said there was no way out. for one of Christendom's greatest leaders and is on the rise of going to the general board. Y'all know who I'm talking to. Y'all have had your hands clapping already. Come on, for the leader, the visionary of this house, the one and only Bishop Brandon B. Porter. Come on, y'all, come out. Love you, man. Love you so very much. God is doing some awesome things here. What can I say about First Lady Porter? Lord, just a classy lady. I love you so very much. Did an awesome job. I was just intrigued to see all of the things that she had put on this week. And just an awesome woman of God. Come on. Let's give it to her. The fragrance of this house. Love you so much, Melody. And to Mama Porter. Mama Porter, I love you. Amen. There's nobody like Mama Porter. And to all the people of the Lord, let's give God a praise for just being here tonight. Hallelujah. I also see Pastor Hawkins. Amen. Stop by tonight. And First Lady Hawkins, I see you. Sister Kathy. Come on, y'all. Show some love to them. So wonderful to see you, Pastor and First Lady. And of course, the twins is here. They've been with y'all all weekend. Come on, let's give the twins a hand. Amen. Some awesome women of the Lord. And to all of the facilitators that have been here on this week, if any of this in the room, and we bless God for all of you. And I'm just so in awe to see my good brother. Thank you, Brother H. Han. Amen. Works with me in the evangelism department. And I don't know what I would have done without him. Uh, when I went over to evangelism, I told him I needed somebody that would help me. Um, with revival fires. How many of y'all experienced the revival fires and um, the AIM convention? If you have not, if um, time permits, if I get elected again. 
know where you're going to be in this church now. Nah, hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. But um, I, I told God I wanted God to hook me up with people that it would make the, the way easy for me. Because, of course, working enough in the music department, it got a little strenuous. And so you have to. God knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And I, I told the Lord I didn't want to die out of this church like my mama did. I want all my limbs. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Amen. I want all my limbs and I ain't going to let Negroes. I'm not going to let them worry me until I can't. I'm so stressed out until I can't even think for my family. Amen. Amen. I, those of y'all that work in the ministry, you know what I'm talking about. And so sometimes um, working in ministry, it can become a little strenuous if you don't have God's help. And so I thank God for um, Brother H.N. and I appreciate him so much. Thanks for the introduction. And of course, my sister Renita and Mary, I love them for life. They're my sisters. I appreciate them. They, we all grew up and we'll never forget that house on um, Parkway. Lord, I got lost so many times trying to get to that house in a courtesy car. <laughs> but I'm just so glad that they always looked out from, um, for us, me and my sisters, um, Mama Porter and Dad Porter. And we got to give it to Dad Porter. Wow. Yes. And to see how Bishop is taking this ministry to a whole nother level for the next generation. And you got to be able to have a vision so that the people won't perish. And it's really an indication that God has definitely given him vision for this next century that we're going into. And I just believe that God is doing some awesome things for Bishop and First Lady. Come on and bless God for them once again. I am... I want you to do something. I want every person to take out your phone. I want you to take out your phone. And I, and I want you to tweet right now. Y'all know how to tweet? <laughs> I want everybody to tweet right now. Where you at? I'm at Greater Community Temple. I want you to tweet that right now. I'm at Greater. If you, if you don't know how to tweet, just put it on your memo. <laughs> I'm at Greater Community Temple getting a life-changing experience. Will you do that? How many of you know your life is changing right now? Yeah. You may go back to the same house, but your life is still changing. You may run into the same people, but your life is still changing. You may not have the money that you want right now, but your life is still changing. And God has given you tonight a life-changing experience. Make sure you put my name down there. Don't just, just tweet this. <laughs> Make sure you say you're hanging out with me here at Greater Community. This is going to be an awesome experience tonight. And after you do that, I want every person to get a pen and paper in your hand. Just a slip of paper. Because we're going to write down three things that we need God to do for us. In these next three days, I know we said one o'clock tomorrow. How many of y'all already experienced some stuff right now? You already see that God is doing something. But it's imperative that every person get a piece of paper and a, a slip. If you gotta just just get a sleep up, or just a, tear off a, a sheet of paper, and I want you to write down three requests because we're gonna believe God for a miracle in the next three days whatever your request is some of you looking for god to give you a promotion some of you looking for god some of you saying your homes are in foreclosure but you're looking for god to give you a miracle some of you are having problems in your marriage but you need a miracle some of you got some appointments this week and you're just praying that god will intervene that god will give you favor some of you got court cases that you gotta go to in the next two or three weeks 
We write our requests down. The Bible says, let every request be made known unto God. Sometimes God can hear us when we pray, but it's always greater or better when you can write it down and God can see it and he knows that you really mean business. Look at your neighbor and just tell him why you're writing. I know God's going to grant my request. He's going to grant my request. And while you got that request in your hand, I want you to keep it in your hand while, while I'm preaching tonight because we're going to believe God for some miracles. Amen? We're going to believe God for some miracles. Three things that you need God to do. And while you're doing that, I want to say that I do have some CDs, of course. Uh, um, I thought I'd give you just a little snippet um, of the uh, I Survive album, of course. Many of you have been hearing it on the radio. Um, he Brought Me, which is the single, and um, certainly I thank you, Memphis. Um, across the board, Memphis was the most played in your area. That, that song was the most played in your area. Yeah, yeah, that deserves a hand. That deserves a hand. Thank you. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you requesting it and it being a blessing to you. But I do have CDs on your way out. Please take me home with you. Take me home with you. I got prayer CDs. And let me tell you something, how important it is that this season, these next three months that we're going into, is a season where the enemy is going to try to do everything he can to throw you off. But you've got to be prayerful. You've got to be prayerful. You've got to get up in the morning extra early before you get your kids off. Because sometimes when you're getting up with your kids, it's, it's a distraction and you can't really pray like you want to. So get up an extra hour early. Get on your knees and pray because your prayers are keeping the devil from coming after your family, keeping the devil from coming after you, keeping de the devil from coming after your finances. Y'all believe that tonight? Look at your neighbor and say, if you seek him early, you'll find him. Yeah, seek him early, you'll find him. So, 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 so it's really important that in the next three months, that September, well, we're out of September, but October, November, and December, look for God to do something special for you. But you got to make sure you pray. Amen. Everybody that's got that request in your hand, hold it up so I can know it's in your hand. That's it. We're going to do something with that. We're going to do something with that. And I hope you tear a little piece of the paper off and don't let it be something valuable. Just make sure you um, just tear it off and, and we're going we're gonna to do something with that tonight. So hold on to that paper. All right? All right. Y'all ready to hear the word tonight? Amen. Amen. Let's go to the gospel according to Matthew chapter 5. Chapter 5. This message is for every person that is in ministry, every person that understands ministry, every person that don't understand ministry. You're going to understand that you're going to have some people that are going to raise up against you. And some of them are people that you work with and you got to understand what God is doing in your life. Sometimes God will allow some things to happen to see exactly how you're going to act. How's your attitude? You, I said it on this morning. We got to be so careful at how we entertain people. Because they just might be angels unaware. And you just never know where the money is. You never know what God is sending your way. And a lot of times it doesn't have to be monetarily. It could be a donation. If you need a wash machine and... You don't have the money to buy the washing machine, but somebody can walk up to you and you just say by conversation, oh, you know, I'm really looking for, I'm praying for God for a washing machine. And somebody will say, girl, I got two of them. Oh, y'all kind of act like they ain't never happened to y'all. It may not have been a washing machine. It may have been a car. It may have been a dryer. It may have been a, a dishwasher. Whatever it was, somebody blessed you. Because you opened your mouth and you threw that thing out there and somebody caught it and said, I got you on this one. Look at your neighbor and say, that's going to happen this week. That's going to happen this week. 
That's why you got to be nice. I told you, ladies, we got to make sure our feet ain't hurting when you're walking in. <laughs> make sure our feet ain't hurting when you're walking into people that you've never seen because you just never know that may be a blessing for you. Y'all believe that? Look at your neighbor and say, God's going to send you a blessing and you don't even know. They may not be dressed like you. They may not act like you. They may not speak in tongue like you. Some of them may cuss like a sailor. But look at your neighbor and say, be mindful, be mindful. God has sent, God has sent them to be a blessing to you. Have that ever happened to anybody in here? And I'll tell you, it's going to happen in the next three days. You're going to see it happening. The gospel according to Matthew chapter 5, verse 11 and 12, it says, Blessed are ye when men shall, men shall revile you. And say all manner of evil against you falsely. For my sake, rejoice and be exceedingly Glad for your great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. In the God word version it says blessed are you when men or people insult you and persecute you. Lie and say all kinds of evil things about you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because... You have a great reward in heaven and the prophets who lived before you were persecuted in these ways. Um, the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 31. What shall we say to these things if God be for you? Who can be against you? I want you to close your Bible and grab a neighbor by the hand. And tell them, I see the trap, but I'm not going to trip. I want you to say that with a little bit of more authority. Praise the Lord, saints. Tell your neighbor, say, I see the trap, but I'm not going to trip. That's what I want to talk about tonight. I see. Everything that the devil brings my way. But I'm not going to trip. Because God has already told me that I was victorious. I want us to understand that traps are designed to hold up, to stop, to block, to slow you up, to keep you from getting what is destined for you. Traps are designed to catch you unaware. Trap is designed to catch you even when things are going well for you and all of a sudden you find out that there's somebody that you thought you trusted. But they set you up. Am I talking to real people up in here? Yeah, A trap that is a device. It is designed to pin something in. To ensnare to harness the device is designed to trap the snacks the filer so it cannot allow any movement there are some human traps I'm going to say that again there are some human traps that your peeps set up for you so that you won't be able to get away from them Look at your neighbor and tell them, as long as Jesus got me, I'm not going to have to worry about the trap. I'm not going to trip because I know that he has already gone before me to make the enemy my footstool. God has already went before me to tell the devil to stop, touch not Mine anointed, do my prophet no harm. Well, 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 we've got some people that you were connected with that said that you won't be successful because they helped you to get to where you are now. Tell somebody the devil is a liar. I see that trap and I'm not going to trip because you know what? 
The enemy's job is to do three things. What is it? To steal, kill, and to destroy. And people of God, if you allow the enemy to come in and, 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 and operate in your life, you're going to find yourself in just a tinsy. You're going to find yourself in a place where the enemy looks like he's, got, he's playing games with you. But that's why the Bible says that he'll keep you in perfect peace. If you keep your mind stayed on him. What you got to understand is that God has everything in his hand. He holds promotion. He holds the timelines. He holds seniority. He holds the rays. He holds everything that you desire. God holds. And the Bible says that promotion comes from God. And then it says, it neither come from the, the east or the west, but it comes from God. I, I, I see the traps that the enemy is setting before me. And, and I'm not going to get mad, but I'm, gonna, uh, I'm not going to waste a tear. I'm not going to hold my peace, but I'm going to let God fight this one out. Tell your neighbor, say, I don't know where you are in this, but God right now has already got your back. Why are you thinking? I've got to let you know that God right now, he is simply saying that whatever you need from him, all you have to do is ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find, knock and the doors shall be open. Why is it that every time I go to do something, the enemy is always trying to come after me? Well, it's because of you being as anointed as you are. Uh huh. You can't help it if God anointed you to do what you do. You can't help it if God favored you uh, where you are right now and there are people that are coming around you. you. You can't help it because God has placed you in a place where the enemy wants something from you but he can't get it from you because you will bless the Lord at all times. And every time you bless God, it pushes the enemy further and further away. Ah, uh, Look at your neighbor and tell him, say, that's why I got to keep my praise. I, I got to keep my praise so that I won't lose my mind. I got to keep my praise so I won't go off on some people. I got to keep my praise. Ah, even when the enemy comes in like a flood. God said that the Lord will do something. He will lift up a, a standard. Well, I found out that what the enemy is trying to do to the people of God, he's trying to walk up in your house. If he can't get you while you're here, if he can't get you on the way here, if he can't get you on the way home, he will set something up at home and make you feel like what in the world is going on. Well, the Bible simply tells us that when I try to do good, evil is always present. So what does that do? That, what does that do that pushes me closer to God to allow me to understand that it doesn't matter what the enemy is trying to do, I know what God has said to me. Ah, if God be for me, he's more than every devil against me. And that's why you've got to make sure you praise God in the midst of adversity. You've got to praise God even when it seems like you don't understand what's going on. Uh, you can't change your composure about praising God because what it does, it drives the enemy away from you when you continue to give him praise. Well, why don't you give somebody a high five and tell them I see the trap. Uh-huh, but I'm not going to trip. Uh-huh, while you're trying to wait on what's going on next, God has already made provisions for you. Is it anybody in here that God has ever let down? Is it anybody in here that God lets you go without food? Is it anybody in here God lets you go without a place to lay your head? No, no, no. Open your mouth and say, no, God has always been there for me. It looks like things are going against what I planned but God knows the way that I take oh that even when I'm tried I shall come forth as pure gold tell somebody God's about to bring you forth in front of your enemies that your enemies are going to have to back up off of you because they don't understand that the anointing on the inside is working on the outside greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world and I've got power to drive the devil right out of my presence I've got power to tell the devil take your hands off of my children take your hands off of my family take your hands off of my job take your hands off of my finances I've got the power
to tread upon serpents and all the power of the enemy and nothing by enemy shall hurt me or harm me if that's you I need you to open your mouth and thank God for the power that you've got on the inside of you one thing have I desired and that will I continue to seek after and that is to dwell in the house of the Lord you know the reason why you've got to continue to stay connected and stay in the house of God is because you know that God is making some changes for you right now he's speaking your name up to some people right now he's speaking your name up to some millionaires right now I don't see nobody that know that God ah oh, y'all just almost missed that one I said right now he's speaking your name up to some people that's got the resources to make some things happen in your life right now God is speaking your name up and telling them to release the money that has been tied up for I don't know how many years if that's you I need you to open up your mouth and say give me my money Pat I want it all atmosphere and say release my money matter of fact call your money back to you ah oh, money come here come here ah oh, y'all saying some of that some of y'all saying that's crazy you better call your money your money sitting around waiting on you to say something open up your mouth and call your money say money come from the north south east and west come to me come to my knee Give somebody a high five and say in three days my money's coming. I'll give somebody else a high five and say three days I'm looking for my money. Yes, it doesn't matter what the enemy has set up to try to stop and block what God has already given to you. Ah, uh, if you open your mouth and speak it, it's got to happen. If you open your mouth and call it, it's got to come. If that's you, I need you to say, Lord, I thank you for what you're doing right now. Tonight, September the 30th, good God Almighty, is the last day of this month. You better thank God that you got away from every adversity. You got away from everything that the enemy tried to do to kill you and he allowed you to live to see October the 1st at 1 o'clock at 1 o'clock at 1 o'clock I wish I could get some women up in here to open up your mouth and say 1 o'clock I'm looking for a miracle I feel the intangible I see the invisible the sky is what the limit to what I can have give somebody a high five and say I'm looking for 1 o'clock something has got to happen at 1 o'clock at 1 o'clock and let me tell you something some of y'all you're going to see a trap a trap has been set but it is not going to work I said it is not going to work because of the faith that you have on the inside. The Bible said now faith is the substance of things hoped for. I can't see it. I'm crazy enough to believe it. God did it before and what? He's getting ready to do it again. If that's you, I wish you to open up your mouth, wave your hand, say something because God is doing it right now because of your faith. Faith is walking out on nothing, seeing something. Faith is looking in the bank. I ain't got to die. But I just believe by the end of the month or the end of the year, my account is going to get full. I wish I could get some tide payers and open up your mouth and say something in here. Tell you something, you've got to pay your tithes in order for God to expand your borders. God is not going to expand your borders 
if you don't understand the law of paying your tithes. The more you pay your tithe, the more God stretches your money. I gotta say that again. I said the more you pay your tithe, the more God stretches your money. Have it ever gotten to the point where you were at the ATM and it looked like you got the, the deposit slip and you looked at how much money was in it and then before two or three days later, you said, mm, God is something else. I wish I could get some folk in here that know that God will work like that. i just give somebody a high five and say, God's getting ready to put some money in your account that you wasn't even expecting. All of your bills are gonna get paid. All of your children are gonna get fed. Oh, I wish I could get somebody to scream up in here. That's why you can't allow the enemy to catch you off guard. Make sure in the next three months again that you pay your tithes faithfully. And watch and see will God bring an increase. Not only that, but he'll straighten out your credit. I'm going to say that one more time. I say pay your tithes for the next three months and watch and see. Won't God stretch your money? Not only that, but he's going to allow those that owe you money pay you back that and more with the interest that they owe you. I wish I could get somebody in here to scream up in here because God already did it. for me. Well, 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 well. Gotta move on, gotta move on, gotta move on, gotta move on, Zach. I gotta hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> but I stop by, I stop by, I stop by, stop by to tell some of y'all in here that God is getting ready. show you what he said he's gonna do he's not he's not, he, he not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent but if God spoke it to you a long time ago he told me to tell you don't worry about the traps that's being set cause I'm getting ready to mount you up on wings like 
Dragon Eagle. I'm getting ready to allow you to run and not get weary. I'm getting ready to let you walk and not faint. Anybody know that God is able to keep you from the fire and the pestilence, every evil spirit that came after me. God will destroy them before they reach you. Look at your neighbor and say, every evil, wicked person that's coming after you, God's getting ready to make them fall flat on their face. Tell your neighbor, you got to give him a praise. If you want the enemies to leave you alone, you got to give him a praise. If you want the devil to stop messing with you, you gotta give them a praise. If you want the devil to leave your mama and daddy alone, you gotta give them a praise. If you want him to leave, leave your job alone. But look at your neighbor and say, ask for me and my house. We will, we will serve the Lord. Yes, we will. How long will you serve him for the rest of my life? One thing I desire of the Lord, and that when I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. How long for the rest of my life? Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, there's some traps coming. But no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. And every weapon that is formed, God will, he will condemn. Tell your neighbor, don't worry, God's got your back. Don't worry, this fight ain't yours. It's the Lord's battle. Can I get a witness? Can I? Get a witness and get a little uneasy, but I'm not gonna worry. I get a little afraid, but yeah, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I fear no evil because the Lord, He's with me, He's around me, and He. I wish I could get greater community. Said I won't worry, cause the Lord, His hand is with me, it's around me, and it's over me. Tell your neighbor, can you agree with me, that His hand is with me, it's around me, and it's over me, as I walk through the valley, and the shadow, the shadow of Take your hands off of my body. Take your 
pinnacle. And he said, every one of these stones, turn them into bread. But the kick was, is that you think you talking to some person you don't understand. But I am Alpha and Omega. I'm the beginning and I'm the end. I'm the first and I'm the last. Then the devil said, okay, if you're all of that, tell me who you are. Jesus said, it is written. There it is right there. Look at your neighbor and say, it is written. Come on, open your mouth. Say it again. Say, it is written that man shall not live by wonder bread alone, but by every word that is proceeded out of the mouth of God. Open up your mouth and tell your neighbor, I see that trap that the enemy set it, but it's not going to phase me. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof. And we are glad. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. What's in the house? If you don't have joy, if you don't have joy, the word says it is written. It said leap for it. It said leap for it. Look at your neighbor and say you want joy. Tell him again you want joy. Tell him again you want joy. Cause this joy that I have, the world didn't give it. The world can't take it. And I Shall flow rivers of living water. I got to have joy on the inside. I found out he's like spring wheels. He's like a wheel in the middle of a wheel. It keeps on turning. And if you keep messing with me, I'll bind every spirit that's coming after me and my family that they shall not. But they will live. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and everything that is within you. Bless His name. Open up your mouth. Give God some praise, cause He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of your hallelujah. He's worthy of your praise. Open your mouth and say, If God, if it be for me. He's more than the whole world against me. When my mother and my father came unto me, the Lord, he will lift you up. Open your mouth, give God some praise, and say, I will bless him at any given time. I may not feel like it, but I will bless him. I may be tired, but I will bless him. I may not feel like I want to shout, but I will keep moving until something happens. If I could say a word, I'd wave my hand. If I could wave my hand, I'd move my feet. If I could move my feet, I'd whirl around. He's able. He's able. somebody a hopper and tell them say don't trip off of the trap it may be sickness but don't you trip bless God anyhow hallelujah anyhow I'm not going to let the troubles get me down when trouble come my way I'm going to lift my hands and I'm going to say hallelujah open your mouth Say hallelujah, it's the highest praise, hallelujah, anyhow, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
coming. I said some traps are coming. But you got to know how to dodge the traps. Prayer is going to keep you from the traps. Prayer is going to sustain you from the traps. Prayer is going to protect you from the traps. Prayer is going to get God's attention. Because the more you pray, the more you stay, the more you fast, the more you last. Because God has already told you that you are more than a conqueror. Tell your neighbor, I know that God has his hands on my life. He got his hands on me. He got his hands around me. He got his hands over me. And therefore, nothing can bother me. Nothing can worry me. Because he knows the way that I take. That when I am tried, I'm coming forth as pure gold. Shout it! Mama prophet said, okay now, all right now. Tell your neighbor, say, I see the trap, but I'm not going to trip. Everybody got that piece of paper in your hand. To some of y'all, it looks like a trap. To some of y'all, it looks like a trap. I'm going to tell you something. If you didn't get excited about the word, then you're in a trap. Because the word is supposed to get you out of the trap. Are y'all hearing me? Get that paper in your hand and hold it up. I want to see who I'm talking to. I want to see who I'm talking to. I want you to fold it up as tight as you can get it. Fold it up as tight as you can get it. It's tight. And while you're folding it up, say in the name of Jesus. I believe in you for a miracle, Jesus. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna see it. You're gonna see it just as show as you see me standing up here with this black dress on. You're gonna see God move in the next three days. Tell your neighbor, say, one o'clock is coming. One o'clock is coming. Just in case it don't come by one o'clock, tell your neighbor you got two or three more days. You got three more days. Don't, 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 don't give up on God. Don't give up on it because. Because he's trying to see how you're going to act. Even if I don't do it when I say I'm going to do it. I, I, I just want to know how you're going to act. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God, every request that is in their hands. Meet the need right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. God, you see some of this is a trap. What just to throw us off. To make us feel like, make us want to give up on ministry. The devil is a liar. We thank you for the victory. We thank you for the victory. And we decree miracles in the next three days. Let one of these things come to fruition. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Do it now. Do it now. Shadabokaya. Yeah, God, if it's healing in the body, do it now. Come against every sickness, every disease. Shoko rabababa. Loose your hold, Satan. The blood of Jesus. Woman, be healed. Shako rabababa. Say, our man, be healed in the name of Jesus. Shako rabababa. Yes, God. Hold it up and say, in the name of Jesus. God, I decree and declare that a miracle is coming in the next three days. I know by faith it's already done. I'm just believing you. And I'm waiting on you. And I know you're doing it now. Now listen, when I count to three, I know it's going to be a little congested. But I want you to run down here at this altar, throw it down, and shout on it until you feel a miracle. Because some of y'all, God going to give it to you tonight. 
And when you show up this week, you're going to see some things happen. I asked Jacoba, even if you had to write their names down on that piece of paper. I want you to throw it down and I want you to shout. Bishop, I hope you don't get mad at me. But I want you to shout on your request. And you shout until you feel a breakthrough. Some of y'all, when you get down here, you're going to feel a breakthrough. Look at your neighbor and say, I ain't playing now. I ain't playing. I, I really, really need God to show up at my house. If that's you, let me see your hand if you need him to show up at your house. When I count to three, I want you to run down here this altar. I want you to drop that request on the floor. And I want you to shout until you feel a breakthrough. Look at your neighbor and say, you can't hinder me. I need you to move fast. I need, tell your neighbor, I need you to, tell your neighbor, I need you to get ready. I need you to move fast. Why we? Y'all can't even wait. Look at y'all. Look at, look at Teresa. Lord Jesus. Look at Kathy. Y'all easing yourself on the, I see you, Berlin. Look at, look at, Ain't nobody tell you to come up here. Y'all ready? One, two, three. Come on, bring that request. Come on, shout on it. Shout on it. Get it on it, my soul. Come on, shout on it. Come on, check it. Shout on it in the name of Jesus. Come on, if you can't make it up here, throw it up at the altar. Shout on it. Shout on it. That's it. Shout on it. In the name of Jesus, every request, God do it now. In the name of Jesus, come on, call it out while you're shouting. Call it out while you're shouting. Call it out while you're shouting. Call it out in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. My children say, in the name of Jesus. Doors open, ways are being made, favor is coming, shout on it, shout on it, shout on it, come on, shout on it, in the name of Jesus, I decree, every fear is already done, every miracle is already fulfilled, come on, shout on it, Shout on it. Shout on your request. Shout on it. Let every request be made known in the name of Jesus. Call your family out. Call their names out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Call your sons out. Call your daughters' names out. Call your family members. Call their names. Call their names. Call their names. Come on, greater community. Ah, woo. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Shout on it. Shout on it. Shout on your healing. Shout on your deliverance. Shout on your healing. Something is bound to happen. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, don't stop shouting when you get at your seat. Keep on shouting. See the request laying at the altar. 
you see the request laying in the church meet every need do it now do it now do it now Listen, if you got a family member here and they're in the room, I want you to go to your family member and tell them, say, we believe in God for the request and begin to shouting with them and knowing that what God has spoken, they going to see it in your house. Find your daughter, find your wife, find your husband. Find your mother, find your father, find your sister, find your brother, find them, find your relative, and begin to shout, shout, shout the victory. You gonna see results this week. You gonna see the miracle this week. Any two touch and agree. Ask them anything. It shall be done. Open up your mouth. Give God some praise for your loved one. Yeah. Praise him. Praise. Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Come on, praise him, praise him, praise him. Oh, oh. I believe God, I believe the report of the Lord. He's able, he's able. Strengthen of Jesus, Shakur Rabbiya, in the name of Jesus, strengthen God, cover with your blood, keep on the sin of your will, the hollow of your hand. Thank you for life. Thank you for what you're doing. Koshana, yeah God, yeah God, yeah God. Come on, bless.